So I hear this a lot in bus mob. And it's a common thing I think a lot of women worry about when having breast implants is bottoming out. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is it? And is it something that's preventable or what are we looking at here? So technically bottoming out means the breast implant sinks beneath the crease. Um, the crease, also called the inframammary fold, that um, connective tissue that separates kind of your breasts from your abdomen. Um, there are things that look like bottoming out that are not bottoming out, mm. but that to be truly bottomed out, the implant is beneath the crease. When patients have that, they typically describe a discomfort that's hard to explain, that they feel better when their bra's on, they feel awful when their bra's off, and they have to hold their implant mm. up because it's so uncomfortable. It's typically not described as painful, but uncomfortable. The implant feels like it's in the wrong place, which it is. Um, Things that look like bottoming out that are not bottoming out is sometimes you're, if you have a crease incision to put breast implants in through, sometimes that incision will migrate or move up on the breasts a little bit over time. So that in and of itself doesn't mean the implant's in the wrong place. It means that the incision is in the wrong place or moved into the wrong place mm -hmm. over time. And then what causes bottoming out, it's... If we knew exactly what caused it, it would never happen, right? Because we'd be like, oh, never do right. that. plan A. Plan A causes bottoming out. It's just probably like many things, a combination of risk factors mm. put together with a little bit of bad, bad luck. Um, so patients whose connective tissue is not as tight as other people's. So who is that? Well, sometimes just an unlucky person. Sometimes though, like an easier group of people to envision would be massive weight loss patients. Mm. So if you've lost over a hundred pounds, your skin has at one point been much stretched you know, out. more stretched out yeah. than it is when you've lost that weight again. And so that, those patients typically don't have as um, strong of connective tissue. Um, larger volume implants, although mm -hmm. no one knows exactly what is a large volume implant, mm -hmm. you know, and if the large volume is over 500, well, is 499 cc safe, <laughs> but 501 isn't? Like, well, that's impossible. It's a range. Mm -hmm. But larger implants are heavier. So they put more pressure on that fold. Um, patients with a crease incision for a breast implant are more likely to bottom out than patients with a transaxillary incision under the arm or around, around the nipple. Because in order to get that implant in through the crease, we literally have to divide it and then sew it back closed. So surgeon factors like not closing it well or your suture strength giving way is another reason why you might bottom out. Um, finally, and really the only factor within our control is um, really loading your pec major, really loading mm. that chest muscle before that normal pocket sets up. So we think the normal pocket or capsule or scar tissue around the implant takes about six weeks. If you are doing push-ups, pull-ups, planks, heavy lifting, like whatever you do mm -hmm. to really mash that pec major down really hard right around the time my suture strength is giving way, you can shove your implant down and out. Yeah. So. I say that not to really scare people, but just to educate mm -hmm. them and maybe scare them a little bit if they're if they're <laughs> debating on whether they need to do a plank right now. The answer is <laughs> no, you don't. Um, so bottoming out and um, can be fixed. It's fixed with more surgery though. It's one of the few things that I know of that there really is no other alternative. Um, and then in the surgery, we will take the implant out temporarily. We will... Um, fix that fold with suture, cautery, sometimes reinforced with a mesh, mm. um, and then put the implant back in, close everything back up, and then typically ask you like a belts and suspenders approach to wear like an underwire bra mm. or something to keep that implant up for six to 12 weeks after surgery. Got it. So the best way to know if you're bottoming out is really just to let your surgeon know, have an exam, and then go from there. I would agree with that. Yeah. Okay. If you're researching plastic surgery, you're gonna wanna hear this. The video you just watched was one of hundreds of educational plastic surgery videos that you can find in the completely free Bust Mob Academy app. Go download it in the App Store. That's right, and that's not the only free resource. We have tons of them that the team at Amelia Aesthetics has built with you in mind. Yep, so you ready to start researching? Watch this video right here to learn about all of the benefits and resources available to you in the Bust Mob community.